Hey everyone, Stacy here. Pronouns he and his representing the Black Power Claims Lifting Club. First off, I want to shout out everyone who has liked, reposted, shared, commented, tagged everything um, for our open letter to CrossFit and to our Big Floyd workout. We'll be doing Big Floyd on June 6th to honor George Floyd, who was murdered tragically on May 25th, 2020, at the hands of law enforcement. Uh, obviously, there's a lot to talk about, but what I really want to dive into is why we are honoring George Floyd and completing the Big Floyd workout. First, if you have to ask yourself why we are doing this, why we need to honor uh, George Floyd, why we need to honor black lives, the cash is perfect for you. Cash is to do your research. If you have Instagram, there's so many great people who are doing anti-racist work. Rachel Cargo, Check Your Privilege, Decolonizing Fitness. Um, if you'd like to read books, read How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram Kendi. Um, if you need a white person to explain uh, the issues that are going on, you can read White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. Uh, but do your own research. Uh, the black community is exhausted and it's up, not up to us to explain what's going on. Make sure you do your own work. And that's your cash. Now, make sure you do your cash. I don't want to see tags or posts uh, talking about you did the workout if you didn't do the cash. -in. That's probably one of the most important parts. Once you finish your cash, -in, you are going to do the Big Floyd workout. We have nine rounds representing the eight minutes and 46 seconds that a police officer had his knee on George Floyd's neck. We also have running components, 800 meter rounds, or 800 meter runs. And then once you finish a run, you're going to go into different movements. Different movements, you're gonna do 25 reps of those movements to represent the day that George Floyd passed on May 25th. Once you complete all nine rounds, another important aspect is to cash out. And once you finish, make sure you donate monies to organizations like Black Lives Matter. Here in DC, it's Black Lives Matter DC. Uh, I know everyone is doing uh, this workout in different states, so make sure you donate to your local Black Lives Matter organization organization uh, chapter. Um, you can also make sure you vote. Tons of local elections are coming up, national elections are coming up. This is a time to vote out people who don't care about Black lives and the time to vote them in. And one of the biggest ones, I've been doing CrossFit for years. I've done so many hero walks. I've done hero. I've done workouts for cancer research. Um, I've done workouts for a lot of things, um, and we have not done a workout for a single Black life that has been lost. We as a CrossFit community are huge on organizing and and raising awareness for different funds and different foundations. Right now, we need to focus on Black lives and uplift black lives and tell our CrossFit community that we do care about black lives. And the CrossFit community, our different affiliates have been doing the work, but CrossFit as a whole, that organization has said nothing. Silence is betrayal and silence is choosing the side of the oppressor. So what I need you to do is you can tag CrossFit, you can send them an email, it's, I think it's customer service at CrossFit.com and let them know your frustrations and how you feel about their lack of silence in regards to the value of black lives. So, I know I said a lot, uh, the Big Boy workout's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard, uh, but the hardest, hardest work we have uh, is making sure that we're doing the work uh, and donating and making sure you really understand the political climate, the social climate that's going on right now. Uh, again, shout out to all those CrossFit boxes who have already set up times to do uh, the Big Boy workout with their, with their boxes. Um, look for, for the workout, look for modifications and uh, explanations of the workout. And uh, again, thank you for your support.